Welcome to the Gourmet's Garden. So happy that you had the time to join us today. We're going to do some great, great things with artichokes. We're going to make a sautéed artichoke with penne pasta, and we're going to make a braised artichoke with garlic butter. Absolutely amazing. Can't wait for you to see it. Stay tuned. Psst. Hey, you. Yeah, you, listening to the show. You know the one thing that's been around since those cave guys were living and still around? Art, right? They used to scratch it into the walls. Forget about it. I know you ain't going to do that, so I got something for you. You want to decorate your cave? Well, your house. You want to have something really nice decorating your walls, right? Yeah, of course you do. I got a tip for you. Check out artbyweez.com. Her art is gorgeous. You can even get high-quality prints of her art starting at only 10 bucks. Go there. Or drop into her studio at 700 Diamond Avenue in Martinsburg, West Virginia. Tell her Dan sent you. She'll give you 10% off. Hey, I'm looking out for you. Today we're going to cook with artichokes. And we're going to cook with the globe artichoke today. Uh, big artichoke, little artichoke. We're going to cook with a little artichoke a little bit later. But we're going to do braised artichoke with garlic butter today. First thing we have to do is we have to prep this. And by prepping it, you have to cut the base. You can see that there's a, a pretty substantial base here and there is also a ring around the bottom component and there's also a center ring. That center ring needs to be uh, made visible so we're going to peel that away. So we're going to do that by first taking the leaves. We're going to take about maybe three, two or three sections of leaves off by just pulling them. All right, so we can expose more of the base. At that point, what we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors right here and we're going to trim. There are some spiky pieces right here on the ends and we're going to trim them just like that. And then you want to take the remaining leaves and you just want to cut them down about three quarters of the way up the artichokes. You can see that there's uh, the little purple part that's in the, inside there. It's uh, fibrous, has a little bit of hair in it. Uh, it's called the choke, and we're going to take that out once we cut these in half. So for now, we're just going to prep these. And I'm going to start peeling away some of this fibrous exterior to reach that nice tender interior. And I usually just take my knife and just to clean up the bottom a little bit. Okay. There, is, there is a little bit of preparation with an artichoke, so don't be intimidated by them. They are a great, great tasting vegetable and can be eat, eaten as not only a vegetable but as an entree as well. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the artichoke and lay it down on the cut, on the cut side down. And we're going to go through the stem, right through the middle, and we're going to cut our way right through the center. And you can see it's exposing the interior. Very colorful. But you can see right here there's a lot of hair. Okay, this is the choke area. This is something that you don't want to consume. And that could either be cut out or we could use a spoon. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting down on an angle and I'm going to pull all of this, all of the hair out of it. Now what's going to happen if I leave this out is that this artichoke is going to start to turn brown. That browning is called an enzymatic browning. It's, that happens to uh, apples and bananas, uh, the way is you stop that is by putting it in some cold water or just regular water and adding a little bit of lemon juice to it. So what I like to do is take a whole lemon and use this reamer and we're going to take this reamer and we're going to squeeze the lemon with the reamer into, let's get that juice out of there and put it right in the water. So what this water is now, now this water has acid, acid in it and it causes it to stop the browning, the browning uh, component of this. We're going to start to prepare our artichokes. They've been sitting in the acidulated water uh, for, I would say, a couple of minutes. Uh, so now we're going to start to prepare uh, the rest of our ingredients. And we're going to start with some uh, garlic and we're going to go with some shallots as well. Now shallot is very interesting because the shallot actually looks like this. It's like a little tiny onion, but it's actually a cross between an onion and a garlic if you're looking at flavor profiles. And I have one here that's peeled, 
it has a little bit of an orange or a little bit of a purpley uh, hue to it. And all we're going to do is we're going to take that and trim it down and just chop it up really nice. And what I like to do is take and hold it up so that uh, it's uh, looking at me, cut side up. And then I like to do a little bit of a crosshatch cut. And some people like to do it laying down, but I like to do it standing up while it's facing me. And then you want to do roughly eighth inch cuts all the way down the whole piece. And then you could take a larger knife, take a larger knife and just chop it down and mince it up. Very easy. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you have some big pieces in there, that's okay. Not a problem. So we'll take these pieces and we'll put them in our little container. What you see that I'm doing right now it's called mise en place, and mise en place in French means everything in its place. We're going to take our garlic and we're just going to slice it down. And that can go off to the side and just sit there. The next thing we're going to need also is a bay leaf. Okay, and you can purchase these in any supermarket. Um, if you have a bay laurel tree out, out your backyard, some people do. You can just pull a little bay leaf off. Gives you a really, really nice, nice flavor. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to get started on our sauteing. Uh, what I have here, as you can see, is a little bit of butter. And the butter is clarified. And what that means is that the butter is separated. There's a layer of water at the bottom. There's a layer of fat in between. And then there's also a layer of foam on top. Now that layer of foam can be either moved to the side can be moved to the side or just taken out altogether and just thrown into the trash. It, it, what it does is it exposes all this nice butter. And the other thing it does is that butter, butter and has a high smoke point. So if you use whole butter, it has a tendency to burn and then you get brown butter and that doesn't really work well with this dish. So you want to have clarified butter. Clarified butter relieves itself of all the solids that would have a tendency to burn and leave it uh, as clear and as yellow and nice and as possible without burning and use that. If you want to even give it a little bit more of an oomph, you can put part, partly a little bit of oil. And I have a little bit of oil here that if I think I need it, I can add a little bit of oil to it so it'll, it'll stop the burning process from, from going forward. And I'm going to put roughly uh, about two tablespoons of clarified butter into the pan and get it cooking. And we'll take our shallots. We'll put our shallots in and we'll put our garlic in. There's about four cloves of garlic in this recipe, so it's going to taste really good. I love garlic. Okay, we're going to saute them up. So we're continuing to saute our shallots and our garlic. We don't want to really brown them too much. We just want to get them nice and sauteed. Uh, what we want them to do is get translucent. And this is another term called sweating. Sweating means you're going to kind of get the, veg get the vegetables, uh, have a sweaty look to them, and um, it's going to almost like translucent. So you can almost see through it. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. We season as you go. We're going to take our artichokes and we'll place our artichokes skin side down. Artichokes skin side down. We're going to add three quarters of a cup of chicken stock and we're going to add our wine. Lastly, we're going to take one of our bay leaves. We'll throw our bay leaves in. We're going to season it again with a little bit of salt and a little bit more pepper. And then I'm going to squeeze just a touch of lemon juice in there as well. And we're going to use our lemon reamer. Okay. It's going to make it taste really fresh. And the last thing we're going to need to do is take our 
lid, put our lid on there, and let this sit and cook for 20 minutes. We're here with Kimberly Honeycutt, and she's a nutritional therapist, and she's going to talk to us today about the benefits of artichokes. So, Kimberly, tell us about the caloric content of artichokes. Well, artichokes have just about 60 calories per serving. They have less than a gram of fat, and they have between 3 and 5 grams of protein. I also hear that uh, artichokes have a lot of fiber. Can you tell us about the fiber content? Oh, most definitely. Um, artichokes are a fiber powerhouse. Um, one serving of an artichoke has just about six grams of fiber, and if we compare those to a standard serving of broccoli or an apple, which only have about three, so you can see that um, artichokes are definitely your go-to for um, fiber content. Great, and I hear that um, there, there's, there's parts of the body that are, benefic that are benefited by the artichoke. What parts of the body are benefited by the artichoke? Well, if you have trouble digesting fat, um, by eating artichokes, you stimulate the gallbladder and the liver to produce more bile. Therefore, you're going to absorb your fats. Mm -hmm. So, And it's also, is it, is it an antioxidant or is it not? Yes. Um, actually, uh, artichokes and uh, vegetables have a ranking for anti antioxidant level, and artichokes rank among the highest. Mm -hmm. So, yes, if you're interested in fi fighting all those free radicals, um, an artichoke is definitely a vegetable you want to choose. Wow. You know, I, I found something out recently about artichokes, and I found out that in some countries it's used as a tea, and it's also used as uh, an alcohol. Well, let's set this plate up for a nice presentation for the table. Now, you could use a little fancy dish like this, uh, similar to, you know, any, any sort of dish that you might have, a little small one. You could use one like this as well. Uh, and I usually put a little butter in this. You could put mayonnaise. You could put ranch dressing, anything for a dipping sauce. Okay, so you could do that. Uh, so let's take our artichokes out of our pan. I usually do a whole artichoke per serving. Set it up like that, very nice. Put this, uh, the lid over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip a few pieces of parsley, a few pieces of parsley, and I'm going to bunch them up. And I'm going to slice them down nice and fine. We're going to shave some lemon peel on top. This is a microplane. And a microplane just lets you shave little pieces of lemon zest on top of your artichoke. And it's going to taste delicious when you do that. Great way to figure out if the artichoke is done is if you pull the leaves and they come off very easily. Uh, now the exterior leaves are something that you don't want to consume because they have a tendency to be a very fibrous. So you just want to eat the outside part or the fleshy part. Hmm, tastes delicious. Really good. The way you want to go forward with the artichoke is you want to peel off these outside layers and continue to do so. And you just keep dipping the fleshy part into the butter or into your favorite dipping sauce. Once you get into the center, you're going to start getting towards the heart. And the heart has leaves that are more edible. So something like this, you could take and dip this whole piece in mm, and eat it. Really, really good. Tastes delicious. The next part you're going, to be, you're going to come to is something called the artichoke bottom. And this whole piece is pretty much edible. You want to just make sure that there still isn't any fibers left from the choke. And this could easily be cut into quarters or cut into pieces. And this whole piece here, this whole piece here can be dipped in butter and enjoyed. Really, really great. Artichokes are one of my favorite, favorite vegetables and I hope you try it soon. No, I'm sorry. Three, Three two, one. Yeah. Oh, I'm not supposed to talk. <laughs> this will all be on the blooper reels. <laughs> okay. Smile. Okay. So that I sound normal. We could okay. we could make that. This new is show. the Sugar Channel. We're ready to go. We could make we could make that the new show. How about that? Uh, a lot of uh, I good. Oh God. I gotta do it all over again. No, I'm not. All right, let's do it. Let's do it again. Do it again. Three, two, one. 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 On tree.
Alright, I need a hero on three. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I love this. This is just so worth not working today. <laughs> Well, besides the digestion, um, eating gallbladders is said to eating gallbladders. <laughs> We're not going to eat the gallbladder, okay? Cut. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Do you want to go through it one more time? I'd like to. Yeah, I would. I was a, I was I'm a filmmaker and I don't have patience. Anybody got any sedatives?